So since the weather was not exactly on our side this week, it was a little bit on the windy side. We could not keep going on the drone flights at all, so the mapping was a little bit on hold. So no flights this week, but we did keep busy, so we got our ROV back out of the dungeons and back into service by sacrificing our boat computer but we managed to make a new control box for it and well you can see yourself how it goes So that was the first test run and tomorrow we're actually gonna take it out on the boat and take it down to a little bit deeper water. Hey there everyone, this week we decided to ask some questions to the Dive Together guys and now you will listen what they will say. Hi, I'm Christina. My name is Tyrone. Hi, I'm Matai. Uh, Hello, my name is Tom. My name is Martina. Hello, my name is Lanasio. Hi, my name is Lava. Hello, I'm Jake. So, my name is Cool Roblox. Hi, uh, I'm Nicole. I've been working here as an instructor for five years now at uh, Black Yes. And this is the place where I'm working for about four years. Uh, and I'm here since 2016 as working as a marine biologist and a diving instructor. For five seasons already, five years. And I started working here as a dive master. And since then, I've been diving a lot uh, during the whole year and the whole season. I've been uh, this is my second year here in Black Years. My second year at Black Years. This is my uh, second year as an instructor at Dive Together here in Black Years. My second year at Black Years. I started uh, working as a marine biologist, so I had my first month here, and I've been told that there are a lot of copper fish, uh, the populations are increasing, and the lion fish. Like uh, rabbit fish, I've seen big schools of them. Uh, I noticed that there are a lot of puffy fish this year, and I haven't seen one of them last year, but I really like them. We can see way more puffer fish and lion fish. The uh, rabbit fish populations have been getting a lot larger. Way more puffer fish here than we did last year. And uh, last year I saw some big schools of uh, baby rabbit fish. On most of it I've seen puffer fish coming, which I really like, but I know that they actually shouldn't be here. <laughs> puffer fish have been a lot around now. And same with the lion fish we've seen. These lion fish have um, yeah, slowly started to spread out. For us as divers, they're really pretty fish, but we're really trying to uh, be careful for the uh, environment with them as well. We know what's happening in uh, the Caribbean. As a lion fish, I also haven't seen one last year, and this year I think I already saw around 10. They are really pretty, but they're not safe for our environment. Uh, since the start of the four years, I must say I didn't see any lion fish or puppet fish, and it is cool to see those changes. They're cool animals, but yeah, fortunately you have to be careful with them because they can't get too many. And this is not a good sign because they're invasive species, so they don't really belong here and they could change the ecosystem and all the dynamics. And many other species that depend on the ecosystems that these species are consuming, they might vanish afterwards. So we need to do something if we see that the populations are increasing a lot. Sea urchin populations have been getting a lot less. Yeah. Um, we used to see them everywhere, it would even be dangerous to be walking across the rocks very um, Yeah, but that has been getting uh, a lot less. And what I think is really fascinating here is that since these nearly three years now which have passed, every time I go diving I find something new, which I find very interesting and makes this place very unique.
couple of species that we focus on in particular, especially the invasive ones like the lionfish and the pufferfish that don't really belong here but they show up every now and then. And also some of the ones that actually control other organisms like for example sea urchins that do feed mostly on algae. So if there's lots of sea urchins there's less algae, if there's less sea urchins the other way around. So those are interesting for us as well. Same as for example the rabbit fish which are also invasive and they come in big bunches and actually take niches so, so to speak the living space of other species from around here away. So we want to keep an eye on those and that's where the guys from the dive center come in. So we actually made up sheets for them so they can document during every single dive that they do throughout the season so that adds up to a couple of hundred in between all of them and we feed them all back into an extra sheet and get a good idea of how the populations are evolving. And also we got an updated itinerary on our website so if you ever want to join us on board or you're curious where the hell we're going next just check it out on www.projectmanaya.at We got the trip so far, we got our current location at any given time and also right now the itinerary up to September at least it's pretty rough up until Dubrovnik, but then we should be fairly much on spot. So, have a look at that, and if you want to join us on board, give a shout. Alright, bye bye. If you like what you see, please like and share and comment. So, see you. And uh, I'm having great fun. I'm uh, from the Netherlands and actually a lot more here than back at home. And that's why I think I stick around so long. <laughs> <laughs>